Welcome to this Kundalini Awakening Energy, Kundalini Activation Energy, Vital Life Force, Universal Life Force, whatever we want to call it, Energy Transfer Shakti Band, Parana. Let's make it Shakti Band today. Today, just to start as we connect into this energy. Just have to make something clear because it seems to be going around and people are misinterpreting it. And of course, the social media lights are making wild claims because they just don't understand these people who claim to be teachers, but they just get half bits of information and say, aren't we all wonderful, we can all do this, oh, this has suddenly happened to me. <laughs> it's fine, they can do that, but just be very aware of these people. If they're talking about experiences they haven't actually had, when you notice something they're talking about isn't quite right. So for example, if, if someone says, we astral project every night because a dream is an astral projection, or they say something silly like that. Just stay away from them. You know, they're talking nonsense. Because anyone who's done their research on astral projection, even though they've never had the experience, knows a dream, an astral projection, a lucid dream, remote viewing. They're four different things. And they're four very different things. Anyone who says they're the same, oh, a lucid dream is astral projection. No, a lucid dream is a dream you control. An astral projection is an out-of-body experience. Your consciousness literally leaves your body. And until it happens to you, yes, you do have to take other people's words for it. But when it does happen to you, I guarantee you, you will know your consciousness has left your body. You're literally floating. Like near-death experiences, it's the same thing. You're literally floating above your body, looking down at your body. It's a very strange experience. It's not a dream. But anyway, so people are perhaps going for, going and receiving Shakti Pat. Possibly they're going to India, receiving Shakti Pat from a guru. Or they're having, well, there are many, many brands out there doing this. Some have been going for 20, 30, 40 years. And so they connect to this energy. And whether because they are explained it badly, or whether they just want to promote themselves and it's really all about making money and their ego making themselves feel special. Because some people might you know, do a couple of Kriya yoga practices or Kundalini yoga practices, feel a little bit of energy moves. Oh, my Kundalini is awakened. Oh, this is or they go for a session and they feel this energy. Oh, my Kundalini is awakened. So you now connecting to this energy. You can feel the energy, right? Your Kundalini has not awakened because you can feel this energy. You might wish that to be the case, but it is not the case. You're just connected to this energy. Your energy bodies are being activated. Yes, this can lead, if you wish, to a Kundalini awakening. Kundalini awakening is very different. And of course, so for example, if I talk to you about a Kundalini awakening and what they talk about in yoga with the thousand petal lotus. So when your Kundalini rises, and especially your pineal, and your pituitary gland connect, you'll see this thousand petal lotus. It's a metaphor. So of course, I can now, not right now, because I'm sending the energy, anyone can, anytime, use something called their imagination and say, ooh, thousand petal lotus, it's opening. Woohoo, I've had a Kundalini activation, a Kundalini awakening experience. When it happens, for example, if 
for me, the first time it happened, and no one told me, I, I, even all through the research that I'd done, I'd never actually heard of the thousand petal lotus being voices. And for me, when the first time I had the thousand petal lotus experience, it was like a thousand, probably more than a thousand voices in my head. Now, what? What is this? What is this? And I did, I went and did my research more looking obviously specifically because before I'd never had the experience, I'd never even thought about it being voices. And so I then went and did my research to see what well, could this experience have been? Voices. Of course then, yes, I found once I was looking specifically for it. I found the information that it can be voices and is actually more common than not. Well, not more common than not, but it's more common than one would think that it's voices. Um, but it was, it wasn't I was imagining people talking to me or sort of like at a football stadium and hearing the crowd chatter. It wasn't like that. It was as though I was in a room with people and they were all talking. But it wasn't my imagination. I wasn't creating that. I wasn't thinking, I want to hear this and therefore I hear it. It happened from nowhere. But the voices were very clear and you could distinguish between them. So if you put a thousand people in a room, all chatting, all you hear is noise, you can't distinguish a thousand people and say, now I focus on this one, now I focus on this one, now I focus on this one, like Superman does. But in this experience I could. So there are huge differences. So just please be careful. And the people, the other social media lights that tell you that they can go into very explicit and deep and sound very intellectual about these topics. I say they've researched them really well. I've actually done this with a couple of them. And I sort of started chatting with them. And they, they explain these things. Wonderful, they are brilliant, very, they must have had the experience. Obviously, they know so much about it. It's just everything they've written. And so I've asked them, well, in your personal experience, when this has happened to you, what was it like? Mm-mm. Couldn't tell me, because it's never really happened. Others have actually tried to explain it. And of course, there are explanations as soon as you get out of the standard definitions fall apart and all I can say is it's, it's such a shame I'm not only are they fooling themselves they're fooling a lot of other people I mean I thought I thought there was a term for that called fraud you know? snake oil sellers that's better I don't like the word fraud but you know the snake oil sells they're selling something that they haven't actually had the experience of. So you just have to be careful. And if you ask me questions about something I haven't had personal experience with, I said, I've been doing this my whole life. I was born like this. I've had many experiences. I've done lots of research. But if you ask me a question about something that I don't know, I'm not going to try and fob you off and say, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. I'm simply going to say, I don't know. Or try checking this out. It might have your answer. So if I don't know, I don't know. It's no problem. My ego doesn't need to be right to be satisfied. It's not worth it. What's the point?
You said a little bit of a... You could say it sounded like a rant, and it was, it was more... And I don't like to be sort of negative that way, but it, it, it was just a bit of a warning for you to understand about people. So, for example, I've met many people who follow so like the Hindu cultures. They say, oh, you can't do Shakti Pat. You're not an Indian guru. Eh? First of all, what's Indian got to do anything with it? Some will say Hindu. So what's Hindu got to do with it? It's got nothing to do with their culture. This is from around the world. Why does one have to be a guru? Because even their own texts say you can be born with abilities, you just have to grow them. Hmm. So, you know. But again, it's just false information that people learn. It's fine. And I can also tell you, you can learn to do this. You don't have to become a guru to be able to do this. Some people will actually be able to pick this up quite easily. If you are a true empath, you'll be able to pick this up quite easily. For other people, it'll take them weeks and months of practice. For some, possibly even years. That's fine. Some people can pick up a tennis racket and hit a ball immediately. For others take them days, weeks, months. Dropping a ball, you've seen kids, we've all done it. They try and hit the ball and it just drops on the floor, and drops on the floor, and drops on the floor. And another kid comes along first time and boom, hits. Same thing. We're all good at certain things. Don't claim to be a professional tennis player. If you just play every now and then at the weekend with your friends, what's the point? So I hope this information, it hasn't been talking directly about this energy today, but we do have to be aware of the snake oil sellers. Like, very convincing. And also, with that said, there are many, I found quite a few people yeah, even on social media, that do know what they're talking about. The ones that know what they're talking about, you'll find they're fully prepared to give you demonstrations and show. And their logic, you can, you can just tell their logic and the way they explain it. It's coming from them. They've thought about it. They've realized it. They've experienced it. Rather than just selling you the bog standard stuff that everybody else says. Look for these things. Makes sense, doesn't it? When you think about it. Namaste.